Butler. Hey everyone, this is Steven Schmiller. This is Crash and Gun Recovery, episode 4. We're talking about the E3, and this is our round table. Uh, of course, this is Steven Schmiller, a contributor in Digimail, an animator for hire. And this is Kyle Harrison. And I'm Chris Campbell. Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the uh, Sony press conference. And I know everyone says I'm a big Sony fanboy, and it's actually not true. And I actually did think Sony's Sony had the best conference. They had some little stuff that was kind of bigger, and they actually delivered on all the promises that uh, a lot of people just kind of had low expectations for. So, a couple things that surprised me were, well, the fact, first thing, the biggest surprise for me was probably the fact that Metal Gear Solid 4 remains exclusive, especially like considering all the big rumors and speculation, yeah. and even Konami coming out and saying that they're making a lot of platform. So, yeah. So yeah, that was, uh, so, it's going to be the last in the series until it comes out on the handheld like two years later. Yeah. So I was actually, I was just surprised about it. You know, Metal Gear Solid 4 is going to be the last, like, actual Metal Gear. Not, 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 not Acid, not, nothing like that. So we yeah. have to the last one. Yeah, until the remakes. Yeah, until the remakes. <laughs> until it finally does get ported. It's still more than five or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, another thing is, another thing that actually found really surprising was the fact that Unreal Tournament 3 is going to be PS3 exclusive. Well, time at least. I didn't think Epic. I think Epic and Microsoft are pretty tight. Really like, wasn't Epic really pissed <laughs> off at Sony for some, at some point in time? I, I recall them having like this giant view. Because uh, that's what surprised me the most. I know that Epic didn't like making games for PlayStation because their dev days are too hard. But then, I, I guess they signed some deal or something that that's what they said at least. But uh, obviously the uh, biggest thing at the Sony press conference for everyone is the most hyped is Kills on 2. And uh, yeah, they delivered on what they said, basically. Like they said it was going to look blow everything away. It really did. The game looks sweet. So like, there's so much happening on screen. The graphics are awesome. There's more, they said there's more polygons in the single Killzone character model than there was in the entire level in Killzone 1, which is pretty huge. But the real question is how is it going to play? Might well, no, there's been a few, there's been a few hands on because Sony had demo, a demo chaos for every game they showed. And uh, people who've had hands on said it was pretty awesome. So they had no complaints. There's a few minor things, but they're just like, the game's still a year away, so I think that they'll, they'll fix those. Could that really hurt, um, could that really hurt Sony with uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and now Killzone both next year until this year? Uh, what about Final Fantasy 13? There's no announcement of that. Well, I, I know this wasn't really announced. Yeah, it, 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 you, know you know It might hurt uh, Christmas sales this year. Yeah. But, okay. It's gonna come around and say, I think Microsoft has it this Christmas. I know they will. We had a brawl. Microsoft has a crap ton of games coming out during this year alone. So I think Christmas, Microsoft has it. And then Sony pretty much <laughs> has it um, so far projected throughout 2008. Yeah, they have the most stuff kind of 2008 is gonna be the year of Sony, and Microsoft is gonna be like right there battling it. Yeah, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. Yeah, and we will be there too. We'll be there. But with heavy hitters and you know big yeah. epic titles and all that stuff. Will we we'll get Mario Kart 30 early? <laughs> I don't think Mario Kart is epic. It kills everyone. Yeah, no, sure. Metal Gear Solid. So <laughs> wild. Yeah, they will for sure. Well, it's, it's going to be the part. But, uh, <laughs> so just basically like another game that looked pretty interesting was Haze. Where ah uh, yes, stuff. Free Radical. That game looked pretty awesome, and I knew it was going to be a PS3 exclusive for this year, anyways. I wasn't really a big surprise. Yeah. But I was kind of disappointed the fact that they still show me first person shooters. Because everyone talks about how Microsoft's the first person shooter console. But yeah. so far, 80% of the game. Remember how Sony used game. to be the Japanese RPG? Yeah, and now they have like two. Well, I'll tell you one game that does look freaking cool that's not a first person shooter. And that's Uncharted. Uncharted? Oh, yeah, I want to talk about this game. This game is like freaking wicked. That's all I can say. Like, every action adventure game that's been announced like in the past like three years just blows it up water like hands down just like so many animations just the graphics are the, the production like, values behind production, this yeah. game it, just, it, it looks everything about it looks awesome like oh, i can't even it's so fluid it's like it's like the action adventure game of my dreams 
the one I've been thinking about ever since I saw Tomb Raider. So yeah, yeah. it's gonna be. I'm buying it for sure. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, I think it's also the uh, one of the first games that has like incredibly detailed, uh, even just facial expressions. Yeah, they're like realistic. Like I was, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Killzone 2's facial facial emotions. I think the mouth moves pretty generically so far, but. Probably. I'm hard has it down pat. I can yeah. really feel the characters, especially when they're doing that cool camcorder thing. Yeah. And they're like doing facial expressions there. It's like, wow, I can actually see these people. Yes. Do you think they use facial? Who knows? They might. But uh, there's a few other things. I like home, like the stuff they have to home. Home is awesome. I don't know. It looks kind of like a rip off of Second Life or any other MMORPG. I think actually Sony admitted that. Didn't they? Like our second life. So there's influences from that second life and yeah. all they're all yes. But it still looks awesome, like an awesome online service. Like they it's the it's, they integrated really well. The like, what they showed me, right? You know, the launch games from inside and yeah. play little smaller casual things. No, one thing I one thing I didn't find very neat about that was um, the achievements. Uh, the the eventual Sony achievements. Um, there will be Play, uh, play out in your wall or something? Yeah, you have like a trophy room and it's yeah. just like a big case of like all the stuff you've done in the game. They're pretty awesome. Like I think it's better to have like a visual model of like what you've done in the game rather than just like points or yeah. things like that or a list of things you've done per se. I, I think I prefer it over Xbox achievements, but uh, we'll see how it's integrated. Like hopefully all the games support it because it's always not forcing everyone, everyone to support it. Uh, but I think they will just because I think it's going to take off huge. Because it's free, which is another pretty big thing. But yeah. If home was like five, it would, if home cost like as much as any other game, it would fail. Like if, since it's free or something. Yeah, yeah, everyone will sign up for it, right? Like it's yeah. just going to be, it's a, in a firmware update that they're having, so it'll just appear more than one day. Like it's not going to And uh, I like the new PSP, definitely. Like I think it's, it looks like slimmer. Yeah. Well, the longer battery, brighter. Yeah. PSP light. Yeah, basically, but. <laughs> That's what they needed, right? Yeah. Because it was just too. Maybe crazy. maybe I'll also have the same uh, fact that the DS is like that. Uh, like sales to double in Japan once the DS like you know. For yeah, some exactly. Reason. That's reason. Well, that's also a new price tag. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, well, it's the same price as the regular PSP, but it, with all the stuff that comes with it, it's yeah. it makes way better deal. Still, I remember looking at it on the, on the shelves that like sellers some like, wow, two hundred and ninety nine dollars for a handheld system, right? Yes. Yeah. That's about I think 167 is a really sweet deal for that sort of thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Considering that there's new RAM in there, there is uh, the firmware lately has upgraded the CPU speed. Yeah. And God of War, man. Oh, that came yeah. out. Oh. The stuff on PSP coming out looks like better than a lot of PS2 games. <laughs> it's a handheld system, so if like did you see these Silent Hill, should it sound? Uh, yeah, I just decided to do. Oh, it looks but ridiculous. I saw, oh, for PSP. I saw another game. It was like, awesome. I was like, that PSG? Oh my gosh. Like, they're missing the one thing I wanted on there. Contra. A snow, a second <laughs> joystick. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a second joystick too. Or maybe a that I don't care. Maybe, but well, I don't know. No, no, I don't. I'll glue one. <laughs> Just for my own sake. I'll glue one. <laughs> Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Well, yeah, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> Crash without recovery. Crash without recovery. Our super geeky talk show.